become sublimely skilled. Hi, this is Mike Lipkin and welcome to this breakthrough moment. Have you ever been so good in a meeting that you amazed yourself? <laughs> you say the thing that needs to be said, when it needs to be said, how it needs to be said. The people around you pause in admiration, acknowledging your brilliance. You look around you in wonder that you are the source of such wisdom. <laughs> That's a moment of sublime skill. It's when one performs at the level that inspires others with an example of what great looks like. The higher your level, the higher the level of skill required to be sublime. Sublime rhymes with divine. It demands sweat, tears, and talent in equal measure. If we merely describe someone as talented, we mean they have a natural aptitude for the task, but talented doesn't mean great. It means the potential to be great. To go from talented to sublime requires an evolution through five stages. The first stage is novice. You are new to the field. You are just starting out. You've qualified to play. You've made it onto the roster. You are learning your way. The second stage is intermediate. You've graduated beyond beginner status, but you are not yet fully fledged. You've got clear momentum. You are well on your way, but you don't yet inspire all. You are not yet acting with the assurance that only comes with mastery. The third stage is experienced. You've stood the test of time. You've sharpened your saw. You've demonstrated your grit and determination to succeed. You've been tested and tried. The fourth stage is remarkable. You are worthy of attention. You've demonstrated extraordinary performance. You've won the respect and admiration of key people around you. You are poised for greatness, but you are not yet great. You are noteworthy. And the fifth stage is sublime. You represent the game the way the game is meant to be played. You are reaping the reward of all your flair and hard work. You've become a standard by which others are judged. You are a wow. You remind people of what is possible. You are a role model. <laughs> you know, in the martial arts, becoming a black belt means that you have reached the level of sublime skill. But within a black belt, there are 10 dans or degrees of skill. Being a first dan means that you've achieved your beginning degree in the journey towards 10th dan, a qualification very few practitioners ever achieve. The point is not the realization of the 10th dan, but striving to achieve it. That's what makes you sublime. <laughs> this is Mike Lipkin. I am the potentiator and I approve this message.